everybody, I'm Debbie Allison and this is Crazy Felix and you're watching Paula McClay by Deck. Hi everybody, welcome back to Paula McClay by Deb. I'm Debbie Allison and this is Crazy Felix and today we are going to show you some uh, tricks and tips and some fun with shoe clips. And uh, we have Gandhi joining us who just decided that he was going to crash on the table here and uh, just stay put. <laughs> so we are going to show you some things that I've done uh, over the past couple of days with shoe clips. Alright, first of all, I'm going to show you uh, some of my collection here of shoe clips. I've got quite a few. I've been collecting over the years. My mom had some back from the 1950s that she gave me. Um, they're really pretty cool. Uh, these little bows, you can see you can put them on your shoes and it just really dresses them up. It's just uh, a really cute look on your shoes. And then um, we've got rhinestones. And these are what I did over the past couple of days here. These were um, on some old shoes that fell apart. So I just took the tops of them off and put the clips on the back. And that's what I did with all three sets of these. And as you can see, if I like something, I have to buy it at a <laughs> But anyway, these are made of just some vinyl. And these are little bows. These are actually earrings. And these I didn't do anything to. These you can just use like this. And you can see how that just really dressed up the shoe and would add uh, a little extra to your outfit. These are a pair of earrings that I did take the backs off and put the shoe clips on. Um, these, just buttons. And the, these are pins. These were brooches. And you can see what this this will do for your shoe. And these I bought um, somewhere, but these I really like a lot. So anyway, let me show you what you need to get started. Um, I'm going to use these. These are hair bows that I bought at the dollar store for $2 a set. And they have the little hair clips on the back. This is what Felix was wearing as a bow tie. Now once I take it apart, he won't be able to do that. Um, basically, just pull these things off of the back, and we're going to use those. And I just tore it apart. <laughs> okay, let's cut. <laughs> okay, we're back. I managed to get the, uh, the little clips off of the purple bow, so we'll work with those. And these little clips, they come in handy if you want to save them. You can make uh, different little cute hair things with these. But anyway, um, what we'll need is you'll need earrings or bows or something like this to get started. I bought these shoe clips at um, on Amazon, and I just did a search for shoe clips, and I got the whole bag for something like $3. I don't know, so they're pretty inexpensive. Then I'm going to be using this E6000... Uh, shoe Dazzle Glue, which is made just for shoes, and the reason I'm using this is because it's the only thing I could find that supposedly holds to leather, and sometimes I'm working with leather when I'm doing shoes. So anyway, all you need to do is just put some of your Shoe Dazzle Glue on the backs of your um, clips, and it is pretty thick, and it's got to set for um, two minutes on the product that you're using and then the product that you're going to bond it to. So then I'm going to put some on the backs of my uh, bows like that. So you can see how easy this is. Alright, and you just let it sit like that for two minutes and then put it together. Now the other things you're going to be needing are some felt and the felt, you don't really need the felt but the felt comes in handy if you want to just put something on the back to protect your shoes. Uh, some of them that I purchased had felt on the back, so I just thought that might be a good idea. So I've got some felt, and I've cut out some little backs to put on there. And um, we'll just wait a second, and then we'll glue those on. 
All right, so it's been two minutes, so I can go ahead and um, put my little clips onto my bows. And you just put them on the back and hold them. And then my glue actually comes through these little holes on here. I don't know if you can see the little holes in the clip. And then I'm just going to put this over the top of it. And just push down. And you can see how easy that is. So we have got a new set of um, shoe clips out of what was once hair books. So that's got a set, I don't know, I, I would probably leave it overnight before I would try to use them. So now I'm going to show you uh, some of the applications with the shoe clips. Before we do this, I want you to see the shoes without the shoe clip so that you can get a good idea of what they look like. These are some of my um, favorite shoes, and I, I am a real shoe fanatic. If anybody knows me, I probably have over 500 pairs of shoes. So um, anyway, this is just some of them. These are a couple pairs of yellow bots, which are already fancy, just in and by themselves. And this is just a pair of uh, rubber flip-flops. And I'm going to show you how these will look, too, with the shoe clips on them. All right, so let me show you how they look. I think they just have really dressed up the shoes. Look at this beautiful pair of turquoise shoes. And this yellow pair looks really great with that little yellow. Uh, this was a silk flower thing. This is an earring here, if you remember. This is kind of a 40s look shoe. This is just your classic white pump with the white um, shoe clip on it. These are my uh, Nine West 40 style shoes with um, a bow on it. And I think that kind of keeps within that whole 40s thing. These just really look beautiful now with that uh, shoe clip on them. I mean, these are really elegant and classy looking. Then this is just your plain rubber flip flop. Oops, I forgot to put that on. Um, maybe I'll show you how to put them on. <laughs> All that you do is you lift that up and then you just clip it down on your shoe and it will hold there. So that's just a plain old yellow or plain old flip flop with um, a shoe clip. These are the yellow box with just the button clip on it and this is another pair of sequin yellow box shoes with a little white flower. So you can see the possibilities are endless and you can mix them up and do all kinds of things and people will think that you have 500 pairs of shoes too. So thank you for watching, and uh, you need to like, favorite, subscribe, and until next time, I'm Debbie Allison with Solomon Clay by Death. This is Crazy Felix here. <laughs> this, this was his favorite toy until Hook took it over. This is Hook, our newest uh, foster. He wasn't foster, now he's adopted. We adopted him and uh, his sister, and they are just uh, real sweethearts. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye now.